Hello, beautiful souls. I am Valeria Maritza at Healing Through You. I am an infinite being of light, and so are you. I am so incredibly excited about my book launch. It is my first book. It made it already to the best selling status on many different categories. And it is a chapter book with 17 different authors. And uh, my chapter is number 13. How does it get any better than that? Well, this book launched on the digital forum on June 15th. And July 15th, it's coming out in paperback. And I am so excited about it. Um, I cannot express how excited I am about this. But I'm talking about this a lot because my chapter, number 13, talks a lot about my story in a nutshell. It's a short chapter, but it tells you the story of my, of how my gifts came about, or better said, how they were there all along, and how they're able um, how I was able to tune into them, use them without even knowing what I was doing. And I believe that we all have gifts, different gifts. We're all unique beings and we all come to this earth with different gifts. Just like you say, oh, well, you know, um, some sports stars are very gifted at the sport and other people are very gifted at painting or other people are very gifted in music right? But we also have spiritual gifts. And I have been tuned into these gifts all my life. And so have you. And if you are feeling and receiving more synchronicities, more stronger feelings, knowings, or questioning, what was that? Did I hear something? That type of stuff? It means you're awakening. It means that you are more in tune and remembering who you truly are. If you're already awakened and you've already um, embraced your gifts, know that your gifts are also infinite because you are an infinite being of light. And so if you think or believe that this is my gift, whatever it is, let's say tarot reading or mediumship or psychic abilities, whatever it is, know that that's not it. And you, a lot of you probably already know this. I mean, you are you're feeling like I can do this and I can do that and I can do this and I can do that and I don't know which one to call myself. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the new light worker. Years ago, when the light workers began, it was all very aligned to the linear way, which was choose one thing, concentrate on that, and do that thing. That no longer serves us. It is no longer that way. Now we are the infinite being that we are with all of our gifts awoken, all of our gifts um, integrated, and therefore being able to tap into all of our gifts all at once. That's who you truly are, a divine being of light. Imagine whomever it is that you believe in to be God or your angels or the divine, whatever it is that you believe in and you look at them as much more powerful than you, yourself. So this is why we ask for help from the angels or ask for help from God or, or pray to God or whomever it is that you're praying to, right? It's because we feel this separation between us and that which is the divine, the angels, your guides, and we see them as having more power. When in reality, you are them. You are part of them. They're part of you. We are all one mishmush together in this beautiful version of you. So when you are thinking of them and thinking of all the things that they can do, know that you yourself can do all of those things as well. This is where I'm going to get a lot of backlash, right? People saying, no, it cannot be. The angels are so much more divine than me. 
God is so much bigger and better than me. I am just this puny little person. Yes, that is the conditioning. That is the belief. But that belief is changing because now you are ready, light worker, to see yourself for who you truly are, to light that light within you, the light of God, you, the God, you, the divine, you, the angels. Now you're able to turn that light on and tune into your light and begin to see everything through the eyes of your heart, the eyes of love, true, non-judgmental, pure love. There are so many types of love, aren't there? But pure love is the highest form of love, the one, the type that can actually heal instantly. When you have something within you, an illness, something that's not quite running correctly, love it, see it with pure love, your true pure love of your own divinity, and it will change. It has to. When you see something or someone with the eyes of true pure love, it changes. Look at a child who's had a really rough life, maybe going from foster home to foster home, fighting for their life, and in turn being angry, violent, and hurting others. Look at that child with the pure eyes of true, pure love, and that child melts in front of you. That child gets seen, feels the pure love, they melt, and all of the anger, all of the walls, all of that fight and flight part just dissolves away. Pure love is the highest, fastest way of healing anything. And that includes illness. When you are able to see your illness, your shortcomings with true pure love and love it to death, accept it, and just love it, it dissolves. Whoa, another super high frequency channeling here. I am not sure how many of you are going to really believe into this, but I'm taking a pause here because it feels as if so much bigger than we actually are. It feels as if just words or made up stuff because it cannot be. The conditioning says that cannot be. The doctors say this is some type of illness that has no cure. And you're saying that pure love can fix that? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It is the true belief that it can. The true belief that you are the divine. Why would the divine create illness to make you suffer? If it wasn't some type of creation that you created yourself and as you create it, you can also uncreate it and change it. How many miracles did you see in the time of Jesus? And those who believe were instantly saved and healed with the pure, true love of his heart. And so it is. I hope you're really, really liking this podcast. There are 
channeled and really deep uh, please like review and share 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 i had this really strong feeling that the channeling that's coming through is just so much more potent and higher level than i've ever channeled before and it needs to be heard it needs to be shared and it needs you to do that so i thank you in advance for that and i will see you next time bye bye